We're here at Cassette Recordings. I'm Grant Owens, and you're tuned into We Found New Music. Jordan Vysick, birthday, joins us what's in up, the studio. What's up? How's it going? Grant really Owens. Great. Yes. great to be here. Ah, right here in LA. Uh, you played a few tracks for us, acoustic, from your brand new project we're very excited about, Birthday, which Birthday. is obviously a little bit more produced than what you played for us today. Yeah, it's track based. Yeah, it's a little bit more. It's a little bit more in the track. Yeah, logic. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's brand new. You you dropped uh, three or four tracks, maybe five. I can't four, remember. Yeah, four. Good four. Out of the blue. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. <laughs> and the blog started picking it up. Uh, so that that's where you're at right now. Uh, since 13, you've kind of been very involved with music. Yeah. Uh, you're in a obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> you're in a band, uh, Kicking Daisies, and a lot of other very cool projects and collaborations. Why don't you talk a little bit about some of those projects sure. and uh, what led you to Birthday? Um, okay, so when I was 11, I was writing songs and playing guitar down in Cape Coral, Florida, and doing all kinds of stuff. Chasing my tail um, through the grapevine, joined a project called Kicking Daisies. Did that for about three years. Uh, learned a lot of the ropes. Mm-hmm. Every year was like another. It was like basically college, you know, for a thirteen-year-old kid. Music industry college for like a kid, you know. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I, it's just been a, it's been an, an, a, a long process of mm-hmm. just trying to find the right thing to really, really put all my energy and time into. Um, and so, you know, we, going through all those projects, uh, learning sort of the ropes and the, the trial and error of, you know, dev- like writing, you know, performing, the whole, the whole thing. Right. Um, you know, it's, it's just been a, an entire learning lesson this whole time. So birthday, mm-hmm. I'm ready, let's do it. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, like I said, it's a little bit more electronic. Um, what are some of your favorite artists right now, and what, what do you think is influencing this project? I like Toro Moi. Mm-hmm. I like Say Anything. Mm-hmm. I like Mr. Carmack a lot. I like uh, Taku and the whole Selection family, and um, I like Tidal Fight a lot. You know, I like, mm-hmm. um, you know, I like the new Anderson Park record a lot. I like... Uh, All over the map, then. I love Just, it. Like, oh, I love it. It's a little bit of everything. Yeah, I mean, I, I try to culture myself as much as possible and at the same time I I listen to the same record over and over again mm-hmm. you know like I love Simon Garfunkel like I love um I love Radiohead man like I mm-hmm. love Radiohead <laughs> um yeah I mean I just I got in tracks about uh 2013 after Skrillex right that was probably 2012 and that after that it was all it was just an entire um awakening of the track realm so thank you, Skrillex. Thank you, Sonny. There you go. It's the best. Yeah, it's I feel been, like there's a lot of other kids that had the same thing. There's a lot of I people think so. that, like, you know. It's been a real hodgepodge. Like, music the last five or six years has just really it's been bizarre. a blend of everything. Oh, it's ridiculous, yeah. A, a callback to everything. So, yeah. you know, um, I mean, how do you, how do you want to separate yourself as an artist from many of the other artists that are kind of doing a pop sound? And, I just want to do the work. Mm-hmm. I just want to do the work. We'll see what happens. I have a lot of ideas and a lot of plans, and you know, I just want to put in the time and just really, really swan dive into mm-hmm. the whole thing. You know, it seems like you're starting to find your sound, and you know, obviously, that's what yeah, tends it was, to stick it was, out. Yeah, it was funny because like I I spent a lot about like you know maybe two or three years like doing trial and error in basements, mm-hmm. and just you know, there's so many throwaway tracks that nobody will ever hear. You know, just like just like you know what. 10 second beats, you know, over and over and over again, right. just constantly. So cool. yeah, I'm obsessed. What are you uh, writing about? <sighs> whatever comes to mind, you mm-hmm. know, whatever's there. It's, it's based, you kind of sneak up on concepts, I think a lot of the time. Um, so there's no real set. Um, I'm not, I'm not at the concept album stage yet, you know? <laughs> mm-hmm. So right now it's just, uh, you know, we, we you're just constantly fishing for, for concepts and, um, you know, just at the same time having a lot of fun with it. Cool. Yeah, and um, like, what is Babyface about? Babyface. Ooh. That was a, it was a great a, song you played for us. Today. It's like melancholy, you know? It's yeah. so sad. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you, man. Uh, Babyface is. Uh, I mean, it's. it's. 
you know, I don't, I don't want to jump into it too it's deep, right. you know, like, it's okay. but it's, it's just, a, it's a song, you know. Just, are you generally like writing about feelings and like, um, relationships and I mean, I like, up? I, I like the introspective stuff a lot, yeah. but I, you know, I like to get Makes social sense. with it too, you know, I like to get, I like to chill. That's cool. But yeah, I mean, um, I just love a good melody. You know? Yeah, I, I can tell. I you, you read a good hook. Thank you, bro. And a verse. <laughs> I mean, it was, and a it chorus was, and that works. Thank you, that's man. cool. That's cool. Uh, you've collaborated with a lot of artists. Uh, who are some of your favorite artists to collaborate with? Um, I mean, uh, I have a lot of friends that I trust mm-hmm. that I like to work with. Um, I like East Coast. He's great. I like uh, you know. I like Cameron Walker. I like Ben Spumuli. I like uh, you know my buddy Ricky Manning, who's on The Voice, is a great kid. Um, uh, my buddy Sam Diaz, he's really cool. Awesome. Um, just a lot of, there's a lot of cool artists, um, from some of my formulative years that are very just down to earth kids that I admire. Cool. They're really talented. I'm sure they all influence, they all have a piece of. Yeah. Yeah. And I, at the same influences. time, I can't wait to get down here and really start, you know, paying for those Uber rides and just really <laughs> getting into those, so those you, you want to uh, head, head down to Los Angeles. Oh, and, and instantly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be great. But Oakland is a cool area too. Yeah, yeah. no, Oakland's great. Yeah. Oakland's great. Um I mean it's it's I I love California. Mm-hmm. I love California. And I was born in San Francisco, so like, you know. Yeah, it's you home. you mentioned on your tweet when you tweeted out the SoundCloud that like this is a collection of songs. You've been hanging around in California for yeah, a while. It's great. It's kinda it's great, yeah. No, I, I came out here about a year ago mm-hmm. and uh I've probably sent about a thousand texts since then, you know. So it's cool. I love it here. It's just such a, it's such a. It's just like so smooth. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's so great here, and it's so pretty. Pretty mellow. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah. Well, we hope to uh, see you here in LA. Uh, moving on down, and hopefully we'll see you in a concert sometime soon. But thank you for giving us a taste. Totally. Yeah. Of uh, I'd love to of come birthday. Back. Thank yeah. you, sir. And uh, we'll keep an eye on you. I can't wait. Thanks again for joining us at Cassette Recordings on We Found New Music. Much love. Thank you, guys. Birthday.